Julian Brandt and Dortmund have won all seven competitive games at the start of 2023, including one against Chelsea in the Champions League. Karim Adeyemi had been the hero in that match just days prior to this game. To throw the title race wide open and put pressure on the league leaders, a home win against second bottom Hertha Berlin was a must. After a jittery start, Dortmund's nerves were soothed somewhat by Karim Adeyemi's back heel goal that showed he not only possessed the kind of speed that undid Chelsea, but also more than a good portion of quick thinking. Marco Royce providing the assist. Dortmund had been very quiet in the opening half an hour, but they got a second goal five minutes after their first when Daniel Marlin connected with Adeyemi's pass to put the black and yellows two up. Adeyemi, though, hurt himself in providing the goal and had to be substituted off. The first goal of the season for Marlin. Adeyemi's injury was a real blow for Dortmund with some important fixtures still ahead of them. After the restart, Hauta came at Dortmund like a whirlwind and their intensity paid off. Lucas Toussaint slammed home his third of the campaign off the crossbar to punish a Dortmund side that were resting a little too heavily on their laurels of the Champions League success. How to continue to bother the home side, who still looked nervy until the 76th minute when captain Marco Royce stepped up to take a free kick that he swept past Oliver Christensen to make it 3-1, as Hauter succumbed to a 14th set-piece goal of the campaign. Two-goal lead restored, Dortmund pressed on with more urgency, and after a fine run by 18-year-old Jamie Bino Gittins, Julian Brandt grabbed his eighth Bundesliga goal against Hauter, his favourite team to score against. It was all smiles in front of the yellow wall for Dortmund as they drew level on points with Bayern and Union at the top of the table.